Hello my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you're having a lovely day and you are good to go for today's very exciting unboxing. If you're new to my channel, I'm Chloe. I'm otherwise known as Lady Rights and I'm really happy that you have decided to watch my video today. Before you go any further though, if you are one of those new people, please click subscribe and ring the bell so that you know when my next unboxing goes live. We've still got so many advent calendars to come and head over to my Instagram to give me a little follow there too because coming up to Christmas, we've got a lot of fun things over there that you won't find here on the gram. In today's video, I am so excited to finally be unboxing the MAC 2020 advent calendar. It's called Boom Boom Wow. It's the Boom Boom Wow advent calendar. And we're gonna unbox it together. Let me just show you what it looks like. So it comes in a half circle like this, and then you, ah, that's what you do. And the box is kind of like all fall out. So you have to be like really careful when you open it. So I'll show you, it opens out kind of like, a pizza and the boxes all come out individually so you've got the inner circle and the outer circle as well. Now this advent calendar is £125 with a value inside of over £300 which is pretty cool and it's exclusive to Look Fantastic. Now I have spoken to the team at Look Fantastic and there are not very many left at all so if you want it be quick otherwise you're going to face buyer's regret if this is the calendar for you. Now guys the calendar has 24 days in, it's obviously boxes like this so I'm just going to dive right in to the unboxing. So we've got our first pizza size box here, this is number one. Inside the box everything is tissue wrapped which is quite nice so you've obviously got a treat like a, a gift wrap treat for every day. Okay guys, very exciting. We've got a full size retro matte liquid lip. This is in Feels So Grand, the perfect festive red right there. That is like Christmas red. That's like Santa's outfit Christmas red and it's full size. So I'm quite chuffed that we're starting off with a full size. I think this calendar will be a mix of full size and deluxe minis, maybe some travel sizes, but this is full size. I like it, I'm very impressed and it's definitely a red I would wear over Christmas. Number two now. Oh my days, in here we have got, this is one of the Dazzle shadows in the shade Last Dance, which is like the perfect pink. It would totally go with like the muted pink thing that I've got going on today. Um, but yeah, that is such a pretty shade. It's pink with kind of like gold flakes in it. So if you like a bit of sparkle on your eyelids, again, full size. Moving on to number three now. Okay, and then here we've got a tiny little, this is a seven mil lip gloss, clear lip gloss, so you can wear it over the top. If like me, when you wear a matte lipstick, you always put a topper or a gloss on the top, this is great, because it's just gonna add some shine, stop things looking matte, and it is obviously a seven mil, so half the size maybe, but perfect little handbag size. And number four now. Oh, okay, this is the Prep and Prime Lip Full Size. So if you ever prime your eyelids, have you ever thought about priming your lips? What this does is when you pop it on your lips, it fills in any lines or any unevenness so that when your lipstick goes on on top, it looks even smoother, the color will look brighter. It's just basically priming the underneath for when you put stuff on top, which is great. And this is full size. It's one of those products that you don't know you need until you start using it. And then you're like, wow, my lipstick looks better. It's sitting better on my lips and it's lasting longer. It also keeps the lips nicely hydrated as well underneath any matte lipsticks which can sometimes be a little drying. Number five now. Okay and in here we have got I think this is a mascara and I think it's the travel size. Yeah it's a travel size mascara. I don't know which like uh, range this is from but it just says that it is number well just black. It just says it's a black mascara and it's travel size. It's got quite a chunky wand as well which should help give lots of lift but travel size don't know what brand it is, uh, what range it is, so I can't comment. I may have tried it, I don't know. But a good black mascara you can't go wrong with, right? Day number six now. Okay, and in here we've got an Omega Matte Eyeshadow Full Size again. This is like, um, it's like a darker flesh tone. So if you're wanting to wear something very minimal on your eyes, this would be the color that you'd go for. I mean, to be honest, that's probably not something I would use that one because quite simply, I don't ever wear a barely there look on my eyelids, really. I like stonking eyeshadow, as you guys know. Um, but if you're looking for minimal and you still want just a little bit, if you've got uneven um, skin tone on your eyelids, which I have quite veiny eyelids, so you can really see it. So if you you wanted something just to smooth the texture and tone without looking like you've got any makeup on then I guess this would be the perfect shade for you. Number seven now. Okay and this is a full size powder kiss lipstick in what I must say is the perfect autumnal lip shade. This is devoted to chili. It's like a muted chili red. Now the powder kiss range they are a muted lipstick so they look like you've got blotted lips uh, if you've blotted your lips after a lipstick, it takes the shine, the smoothness away. It's like wearing a powder lipstick, if you can imagine. But this shade is perfect for autumn. It's like a orange, like a burnt orange red. I absolutely love that. That's not something I would have thought to actually pick up, but it's full size and I love the shade. Now we're on to day number eight. In here, we've got some of the strobe cream, which is basically 
It's like a highlighter that you can wear underneath or over the top of your makeup. It's great. I've worn this quite a few times and it like, it sits very, very like subtly, like I'm not sure if you can see that, but it basically just highlights without any shimmer or glitter. It doesn't look like a highlighter, but it does the same as a highlighter. I don't know if I've described that very well, um, but it is a tiny little six mil size, which I think with this product is the right sort of size to try first, because you, if you're looking for a new type highlighting product, it may not work for you, it may do. I really like it because I'm not like killer highlighter as a style, but I really like it. And this is the pink light shade. Now we're on to number nine. Okay, we have got another full size eyeshadow. Again, this is matte and it's the shade I'm I'm into it. Perfect to match the Powder Kiss lipstick. In fact, I'm just gonna show you. You've got like the burnt orange tones going on, like the autumnal tones there. Like, look at those, those are great together. Um, now that is the sort of shadow I would love to play around with, create some, create some great autumnal looks and finish off with this lipstick as well. Day number 10 now. Okay, and we've got the Fix Plus spray, obviously like the cult status spray. It's basically one of the best fixing sprays out there. Now I'm not a finishing spray kind of girl, but if I need my makeup to last just a little bit longer through the day, then I'll pop this on when I finish applying in the morning and it does just keep everything in place looking perfect. As someone with oily skin, I have to be really careful with adding any extras on the top of my makeup because it can just make me create even more oil, but this one does just get me a little bit longer out of my makeup. Plus you can actually use it as a setting spray. So like mid afternoon, if you're makeup is feeling a bit shiny, feeling like it's coming off. If your skin feels a bit dry, just put some of this over the top and it should perk the whole look up instantly. This is a little 13 mil size, so a good size to try if you've not yet visited it, but I think once you try it, you'll really like it. Day number 11 now. Oh, I love it. We've got one of the lip glasses. This is the shade very go lightly and it is like the perfect champagne tone. It's like a gold champagne, not a pink champagne. So my kind of color, it's obviously the little travel size. It's a 2.4 gram, but that's my kind of shade. And do you know what? I'd probably wear like one of the lip, uh, the powder lips, maybe that one and put this over the top just to add a little bit of dimension. And you probably wouldn't have thought to put those two together, but I love a lip topper on top of my lipsticks. And this is the perfect shimmery shade for me. Day number 12 now. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. We've got a frost eyeshadow, Naked Lunch, which is like a shimmery peach pink, which actually really complements the lip glass that we just had. Those two shades look absolutely gorgeous together. Um, it's got a nice pearlescent finish to it. So that's my kind of eyelid shade. I like anything with a bit of shimmer or shine on my lips and my eyelids, as you guys know, full size again, thumbs up for this calendar. Really impressed. Day number 13 now. Okay, and in here we've got a mini lipstick. This is the Amplified Cream Lipstick, which is a very similar but slightly darker shade to the Powder Kiss earlier. Perfect autumnal tones if you like a plum. It's like a, a red plum as opposed to a purple plum. And that just looks perfect for autumn. If you like a dark lip, a deep lip, that is your kind of thing. And it's the cutest little handbag size. So I do really like that. I don't often wear a dark lip, but in this kind of autumn winter season, that's the sort of color I would go for if I did. Day number 14 now. Okay, we've got another lip gloss. This is the shade Candy Box. Uh, less shimmery um, in there. There doesn't seem to be any glitter pigments in that one, but it is the cutest little pink. I love that. So that, that one actually, I would say more than the other one, you could wear on its own. So like a lip gloss, basically. You wouldn't necessarily just want to put it over something, but it's not matte. It's kind of a matte color with a gloss finish. And that's why I like the lip glasses. And it's my perfect pink shade, very similar to what I'm wearing today. Day 15 now. And we've got another mini lipstick. This is the Amplified, oh no, it's not. It's the Satin Lipstick in the shade Twig, one of the cult lipsticks. If you've ever looked for the perfect pinky nude from Matte, Twig is one of the ones that they always recommend. I've got it in full size, so it's nice to have a little handbag version, but it's the perfect muted rose pink. It's kind of in between nude and a rose, so it's not too pink, it's not too nude, and it's a slightly deeper shade than you would usually wear on your lips if you go for a nude. I love it. One of my cult status lipsticks, absolutely really chuffed to have found that in here. Haven't actually used mine in ages now. It's reminded me how much I like it. Day 16 now. Okay, in here we've got another full size eyeshadow. This is the satin finish in the shade Girly. Very, very pink. Perfectly matching the lip gloss that we had um, a couple of doors ago. Really like that. I'm not like I say I'm not into pink makeup but actually I wear a pink eye a lot when I'm doing these videos because I kind of get carried away when I'm just like oh I'll put some makeup on to film and then I just end up doing a pink eye because I really like it uh, pink and purples so it might not be my everyday thing but it's like when I want a killer eye I go for a pink so actually I think I probably will use that more than I expected to but love it with a little bit of like satin finish in there so it's going to add a little bit of dimension to the eyelids as well day number 17 now 
Okay, and in here we've got one of the MAC brow sets. It's the clear brow setting gel. Now, I don't use brow setting gel, so this is probably the only other product so far that I won't use. My brows are barely there anyway, so if I put something like this on, it would probably just take the color underneath away. But if you're big into bushy brows, making sure your brows look absolutely stonking, you obviously want to set them at the end so they look as good as possible all day long. So this would be a great one for brow lovers. Is that full size? I'm assuming so. Now it's time to look behind day number 18. Okay, and in here we have got another mini lipstick. This is a matte in the shade Russian Red, which is not quite as bright red as the first um, matte lipstick that we had, but it's kind of like in between an autumn toned red and a bright red so it's kind of like a brownie red I guess is what I'm trying to say um, but it's very very cute again another one that's perfect for this time of year and it is another one of the little mini sizes so now we've got one two three of the mini lipsticks day number 19 now Okay, we now have a lovely nude um, lip gloss. This is the shade Spice, which is the perfect nude. Um, again, this one hasn't got any shimmering, so you could wear it just literally on its own rather than on top of something, but that's my kind of tone, the sort of thing I would reach for very, very much. This is probably like a car one for me that I'll leave in my car, so I've always got something to hand if I need to top up. Obviously, masks on and off and stuff. Always need to make sure I've got something in the car to keep on top of my lips because it just rubs off on my mask. But yeah, love that shade very much. Moving on to door number 20. And we have another lip glass. This one is very shimmery. I like it very much. It's called All Things Magical. It's a more pink shade, a little bit of a mauvey pink, I'd say there. But again, I really like the color selection that we're getting in here. A couple of years ago, I unboxed the MAC Advent Calendar and I just couldn't rate it. It was just full of colors that I was not gonna use. Um, this one, on the other hand, so many products in here. There's literally two that I've picked and I'm like, I just don't think I'll use those. But everything else, my kind of shade, very versatile, I like it. Day 21 now. Okay, and in here we have another mini lipstick. This shade is the Amplified Cream and it's Girl About Town, Bright Fuchsia. Probably not one I'll wear very often, but great for like if you're going on a night out and you want a bright pink lip. That's definitely not my kind of thing. It's one I'll keep. I won't give it to a friend or anything because I'd like to have it just in case I want to wear it. But yeah, another little mini lipstick. Let's look behind box number 22 now. Okay, and in here, ooh, I like this. This is the Velux Pearl Finished Eyeshadow Full Size in shade Ruddy. Not one I would usually go for because red eyeshadow you have to be really careful with, but I do really like it. And we had that earlier kind of dark brownie mauve tone in the matte. Those two are gonna look amazing together. That on the lids, this in the crease. I'm actually gonna make a, like, a cute little tutorial, I think. Maybe just um, like a, a look for one of my future videos, but I really, really like that shade. I didn't expect to when I opened it, but I do like it. 23 now, the pen ultimate box. We have another mini lipstick. Oh, that one's quite deep. That is the satin finish in Del Rio. Dark, dark kind of nude brown, I'd call that. Not a very red tone there. My hair's in my eyes. Um, but definitely if you're like a brown, if you have darker skin, this would look lovely on your skin tone, I think. It's definitely on the nude end of the spectrum, but the definite darker shade of it. So yeah, that is, is that our fifth? One, two, three, four, fifth mini lipstick. Last one, 24, so you'd be opening this one on Christmas Eve. What's the betting it might be a full-size velvet teddy as it has been for the last two years? Oh no, okay, it's actually like a keychain mirror. Okay, I mean, it's actually really useful because it goes on a clip, so I can keep this on my keychain and always know I've got a mirror when I need one, but I mean, I would have liked something a little bit better behind the day. I wouldn't have mind finding this in the calendar because I like it, but maybe a bit earlier on with, maybe they should have replaced day one and day 24. We could have had the full size matte lipstick as the day 24, but it is cute. I do like it. I'm not knocking it. I just wasn't, it that's my stomach. I'm hungry. I just wasn't expecting to find something like this behind the final day. So guys, there we have it. That is the MAC Advent Calendar for 2020, fully unboxed. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love to hear your thoughts as we go through the videos together. My thoughts are this. I actually really like it. I didn't think I was gonna love it. I really didn't because of a couple of years ago. So I guess maybe I have like the wrong opinion towards MAC. I'm always a bit like held back now. But I really like it. I think there was two products in there, the kind of um, neutral toned eyeshadow um, and then one of the other lipsticks. I can't even remember what it was, but I definitely know there was two things in there that I was like, I probably won't use. Even the fuchsia pink lipstick, I'm gonna keep rather than giving that to a friend because I would like to be able to use it if I wanted one and I don't have a color like that in my collection, but I really, really like it. We had a couple of full sizes. We had the day number one was full size. The powder kiss was full size. We had one, two, three, four, five, six 
eyeshadows that were full size, you know, and the brow gel that was full size, I believe. So there's a lot of full size in here. The lip primer as well. I'm just, yeah, I think it's really good value. Obviously, if you think about what you would spend on a single matte lipstick or a single MAC eyeshadow, this is actually really good value. So I really like it. The colors are very versatile and a really good mix. There's not too many reds, not too many pinks, not too many nudes. I just think it's a really great all rounder, very versatile. It's getting a thumbs up from me. As mentioned guys, I will link below where you can pick it up, but please be quick. Obviously it's payday weekend this weekend I'm filming, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna sell out this weekend because everyone who's been wanting to get it will be snapping it up on payday. So make sure if you want it, you get it because once it's gone, it's gone. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I will look forward to seeing you very soon for my next unboxing. Bye.